No decision tonight on that plan to merge the Coons Police Department with the Hardin County Sheriff's Office. KFDM's Justin Hinton was at that meeting and he joins us now in the studio to tell us when exactly we can expect a decision from Coons. Justin? Well, we'll have to wait at least a month to find out what will happen with the Coons Police Department. That's because council members postponed the vote tonight. As we first told you at 6, Police Chief Paul Darks had a proposal of his own that included his retirement. He presented it to council and its members felt they needed some time to make a decision on how to move forward. The new proposal would not call for the consolidation of the two agencies. Instead, Chief Darks would retire at the end of September. One of the benefits with this plan for the officers, well, they'd get a pay increase from the money that would normally go toward Darks' salary. And once he retires, the assistant chief would then move to chief and the assistant chief position would go away. Also, the city administrator says no one would lose their jobs under this plan. I like it. I'm going to sit down with Paul in the next few days and we're going to discuss it and, and then we'll come up with our proposal for the council at the next meeting. Also, absent from tonight's meeting, Councilman Ira Braniff. He's accused of stealing money that was supposed to go toward the headstone for the family of a Coons High School student killed in a car wreck. Now, one person tried to address the council on the matter, but she was stopped by the mayor pro tem because the rules prohibit public comment to be directed at a specific person. I just think that we should try to understand that everybody makes mistakes. <coughs> everybody does. Second person who okay. wants to speak is Mr. Wilford. According to the attorneys, unless he's convicted, he's still part of the part of the system. And today we learned Braniff will most likely face another theft charge for a similar incident. Greg.